Hi everyone, this is Dr. Prabhu Patel and today we're going to talk about biochemistry. See, biochemistry is a volatile subject. It comes for very little marks that is around only three to four questions, sometimes even less than that. So you need to learn it like that. And uh, I think you should complete the portions of the biochemistry within a week and then do revisions every two months. So without wasting any time, let's begin. See, for the books to refer, I used Pankaja Nayak as uh, we were taught Pankaja Nayak during my undergraduate time. But uh, during the MDS preparation, I also used Satya Narayan. See, Satya Narayan is a book that has lot of flow charts and good tables. You can use that. Pankaja Nayak also have them. But I think Satya Narayan is better in terms of charts. Synopsis. See, Pulse Synopsis is quite precise and a lot of relevant data is there. So you need to see that you you need to learn that properly because sometimes straightforward questions come like uh, in which uh, part of the cell glycolysis occur you need to know that so those data is that that data is given in synopsis so you need to learn that topics let's move on to the most important topics that you need to refer see biochemistry there are three four main topics like lipids carbohydrates proteins and vitamins rest they are like uh, never asked but you have to learn sometimes they do so let's begin see for lipids there is a chart on lipoprotein it is the most important part of the lipids you have to learn that at least one mcq is asked every year for me the formation of lipids how what is the structure of lipids there is a diagram in the book just check it out or i'll put it up in the video classification of the lipids you have to know essential fatty essential essential fatty acids non essential fatty acids number number of carbon and names of the essential and non essential you have to know then the first cycle that is fatty acid oxidation or beta oxidation see for whatever cycles there are in biochemistry you need to learn these nine things about them so you will be able to master all the cycles in the biochemistry number of atp produced substrate level phosphorylation in most of the cycles there are substrate level phosphorylation you have to know, learn number of steps producing atp or using atp you have to know catalyst what are the catalyst being used like there are various catalysts like vitamins you have to learn in what step which catalyst is being used carrier proteins if there are any end product and by product like the citric acid cycle has a lot of end and by product so you have to learn that urea cycle has a by product you have to learn number of cycles to completely use up or form the product total energy produced that is the energetics nada nadh fadh atp you have to know what are the energetics of each cycle and the rate limiting steps of the cycle see these nine points you have to remember for each cycle there is in biochemistry you have to learn that properly yeah and also the location of the cycle occurring in the cell or in the body like some cycle occur in the muscles you have to know that like some cycle occur in the liver you have to know that some cycle occur in the cytoplasm some, some occur in the nucleus or mitochondria you have to know which cycle occur where you have to know these things now ketone bodies all three ketone bodies you have to learn how they are formed there is a flow chart in the book just look at that ketogenesis that is the formation of ketone bodies primary bile acids secondary bile acids you have to know at least the name you have to know lipid storage disease there is a chart i'll put it up in the video just look at that uh, most of the questions are asked from this so you have to know utilization of ketone bodies small topic just see how they are utilized cholesterol metabolism in this uh, you don't need to remember the whole chart just remember that hmg coa reductase is the rate limiting step and uh, drugs like lovastatin acts on it moving on carbohydrates test detecting carbs that is molish test selvinov bile test just know the name you don't have to go in detail glycolysis very important topic that is embedded meerhof pathway you have to remember in this you have to remember phosphofructokinase 1 differences between the hexokinase versus glucokinase these two are two important points and the 10 points i told earlier for all cycles you have to remember for this also 
क्रेप साइकिल सेम ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस एंड ग्लाइकोलिसिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सी इन ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस एंड ग्लाइकोलिसिस ऑल द स्टेप्स आर सेम ओनली द ओनली द स्टार्टिंग टू स्टेप्स एंड द एंडिंग टू स्टेप्स आर डिफरेंट सो लर्न इट लाइक अ डिफरेंस इन द बुक इट इज गिवन लाइक अ डिफरेंस लर्न इट लाइक दैट कोरी साइकिल रेपापॉट ल्यूब्रिंग साइकिल यू हैव टू लर्न दैट ऑक्सीडेटिव डी कार्बोक्सीलेशन और द फेट ऑफ द पायरुवे सी ऑक्सीडेटिव डी कार्बोक्सीलेशन कनेक्ट्स टू साइकिल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर वॉट आर द टू साइकिल इट इज लिंकिंग दैट इज द ग्लाइकोलिसिस एंड द सिट्रिक एसिड साइकिल और द क्रेप साइकिल सो यू हैव टू नो द होल स्टेप इट इज अ सिंगल स्टेप दैट इज कनेक्टिंग द एंजाइम्स एंड द को फैक्टर विच अकर्स इन दिस ऑक्सीडेटिव फॉस्फोराइलेशन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू नो दैट सी फॉर द एंजाइम्स देर आर थ्री एंजाइम पी डी डी दैट इज पायरोवेट डी हाइड्रोजनेस डाई हाइड्रो लाइपोल ट्रांस एसिटिलीज एंड डाई हाइड्रो लाइपोल डी हाइड्रोजनेस दीज थ्री आर द एंजाइम्स एंड द को फैक्टर फाइव को फैक्टर्स आर देयर एन ए डी एफ ए डी को एस एच टी पी पी एंड लाइपोएट फाइव थ्री एंजाइम्स एंड फाइव को फैक्टर्स यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फॉर ऑक्सीडेटिव फॉस्पोराइलेशन ग्लाइकोजन मेटाबोलिज्म यू हैव टू रिमेंबर देर इज अ होल फ्लो चार्ट लर्न दैट रेगुलेटरी एंजाइम्स ऑफ द चार्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफ द साइकिल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पेंटोज फॉस्फेट वाद वे नॉट सो मच इंपॉर्टेंट बट जस्ट लर्न दैट इट डज नॉट जनरेट एनी ए टी पी जी सिक्स पी डी इज अ रेट लिमिटिंग टू पॉइंट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फॉर दिस ग्लूकोज ट्रांसपोर्टर्स ग्लट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स यू हैव टू यू हैव टू लर्न दैम इन वॉट सेल्स इन और इन वॉट ऑर्गन्स दे अकर एंड वॉट दे डू वेरियस डिसऑर्डर्स सम स्मॉल डिसऑर्डर्स यू हैव टू रम अबाउट कार्बोहाइड्रेट दैट इज लैक्टोज और फ्रक्टोज इन टॉलरेंस प्रिटी कॉमन यू हैव यू मस्ट हैव सीन दैट सम वन इज लैक्टोज इन टॉलरेंट कैन नॉट ड्रिंक मिल्क यू हैव सीन दैट सो यू नीड टू लर्न दिस इट्स क्वाइट फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्ट फ्रक्टोसूरिया गैलेक्टोसीमिया एंड एसेंशियल पेंटोसूरिया the other three are less important but learn the first one that is the lactose and fructose intolerance you have to learn what are the clinical features for any disease just learn how it functions and what are the clinical features you have to learn them glycogen storage diseases see glycogen storage disease is very commonly asked and you have to learn that there is a table i'll put it up in the video so just look at that moving on to the next topic that is protein some basic points about protein you have to learn like what are the acidic proteins what are the basic um, oh sorry what are the acidic amino acid what are the basic amino acid what are the neutral like for acidic there are only two acidic like the aspartic acid and glutamic acid for the basic there are only three that is histidine arginine and lysine hal and the rest are the neutral amino acids then the essential non essentials you have to learn ketogenic and glu- glucogenic amino acids see all these things are given in the synopsis so learn from the catabolism of amino acids these are the steps that you have to learn how a protein is formed or how a protein is metabolized transamination the enzymes and the substrate which undergo transamination deamination oxidative non oxidative just learn which amino acids undergo which one fate of ammonia see fate of ammonia is an important cycle you have to learn glucose alkaline cycle nitrogen balance what is what is the positive nitrogen balance what is the negative nitrogen balance see the basic point about positive and negative is is positive occurs when the body is building something like there is muscle hypertrophy going or there is pregnancy going body is building some some new part or some uh, child is growing in the womb you have to run that and the negative balance occurs when the there is a disease like washi or gar or the patient is sick so negative balance comes like that urea formation that is the krebs henselet cycle see sometimes in the exam they ask krebs henselet cycle and some of us will answer about the krebs cycle so just read the name properly krebs cycle is different krebs henselet cycle is different you have to know the names what the other names of each cycle just remember that you have to learn that for urea formation you have to know the end products from which is urea form like urea is formed from three products three substrate that is ammonia co2 and the alpha amino nitrogen of aspartate just remember these three points where it occurs the half cycle occurs in the cytosol the half of it occurs in the mitochondria you have to remember and the rest point which i told earlier in urea cycle there are five steps and according to those five steps there are five disorders you have to learn just see the chart there is in the book 
वन कार्बन मेटाबॉलिज्म यू हैव टू लर्न व्हाट आर द अमीनो एसिड्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द वन कार्बन मेटाबॉलिज्म लाइक आई लर्न इट लाइक अ निमोनिक जीएसटी है जीएसटी एच ग्लाइसिन सेरीन ट्रिप्टोफैन एंड हिस्टोडीन दीज आर द फोर अमीनो एसिड्स दैट आर अवेलेबल इन द वन कार्बन मेटाबॉलिज्म नाउ ग्लाइसिन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू लर्न इट एंड वॉट प्रोडक्ट्स इट सिंथिसाइज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट सिंथिसाइज सेरीन हिस्टोन एस्टलकोलिन प्योरिन क्रिएटिन एंड ग्लूटाथियोन सी दीज सिक्स प्रोडक्ट्स इट मेक्स सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द अमीनो एसिड दे विल मेक सम इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोडक्ट सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर वॉट प्रोडक्ट आर दे मेकिंग अरोमेटिक अमीनो एसिड्स फिनाइल एलिन टायरोसिन एंड ट्रिप्टोफैन वॉट आर द डिजीज देर इज अ फ्लो चार्ट अबाउट द डिजीज लाइक एल्बिनिजम दे कॉज एंड यू हैव टू लर्न दैट फ्लो चार्ट हाउ इट फंक्शन maple syrup urine disease what are the amino acid involved in then like i learned it like will v i l valine isoleucin and leucine these are the three amino acid that are involved in maple syrup urine disease see for diseases you have to run the, learn the clinical features that are the signs and the symptoms you a patient comes to you and say that uh, his his urine is coke colored and it 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 uh, turns colorless after a while so you have to know what is the disease so here the disease is alkaptonuria you have to learn that you have to learn the clinical features of all the diseases that are in biochemistry vitamins for vitamins remember these points you have to learn for all the vitamins vitamins are very important they will ask any vitamin there is no favorites for them mostly they will ask b, uh, b vitamins but there are no favorites for them uh, just remember that there are no favorites you have to learn vitamins properly rda recommended daily allowance then sources deficiency disease which occurs due to the deficiency of the vitamins what reaction they act as enzymes or the cofactor you have to learn about them vitamins for vitamin d there is a whole chart of formation you have to learn in skin what occurs in liver what occurs in kidney what occurs you have to learn the vitamin d chart moving on to hemoglobin see for hemoglobin you have to learn the synthesis of heme and globin separately there is a flow chart then thalassemia and sickle cell anemia these two diseases about hemoglobin you have to learn what is the genetics of it how they affect the human body what are the clinical features then breakdown of hemoglobin globin step by step in different organs you have to learn there is a chart jaundice see jaundice is very important from clinical point of view as well as from many subjects for many subjects like physio it will come in physio it will come in gm it will come in biochem so you have to learn jaundice properly prehepatic hepatic post hepatic there is a chart i think in the general medicine video i gave the chart so you need to learn that properly hyperbilirubinemia gilbert Krigler Nadja and Dubin Johnson these three you have to learn what are they what are the clinical features of them for immunoglobulins there are three main albumin globulin and fibrinogen you have to learn what are the half lives of them what are the sizes of them and the numbers in their order in the decreasing order the increasing order you have to learn them the basic structures of the immunoglobulin you have to learn i think in micro they also teach the subject of uh, the structure of the immunoglobin so you can learn from there or if you want you can learn it here the composition of albumin globulin and fibrinogen you have to remember mineral metabolism same rda plasma concentration function deficiency disease that occurs or the excess disease that is caused by the excess of minerals see the there are multiple minerals macro or micro minerals you need to learn at least these one sodium potassium calcium copper iron zinc and iron these seven you have to learn properly because the important diseases that occur in the human body are caused by these deficiency or excess so you need to learn at least these seven nucleic acids structure of nucleotides nucleosides purine versus pyrimidine there is a difference between the purine and the pyrimidines pentose sugar that is ribose and deoxyribose chargaff's rule you have to remember disorders of the purine catabolism under these come two important disorders that is gout you must have heard about gout and the leach nehan syndrome 
you have to remember what are the genetics of it what are the clinical features and what uh, what uh, side product or what by product is increased in the serum you have to know this moving on replication of dna transcription enzymes are very important of it translation same mrna trna see the shape of the trna the clover she the clover leaf shape and what are the parts of the trna you have to learn that and what are the functions of that enzyme enzymes is very important but unfortunately or fortunately they only ask one question from enzyme so you need to learn them properly see the, there is a chart of cofactor of the enzymes in the book learn that enzymes and their classes you have to learn then reversible the examples of the reversible enzyme irreversible the example of the irreversible enzyme suicide inhibitors you have to learn these these are most frequently asked the suicide inhibitors are most commonly asked like the allopurinol they they say it's a suicide inhibitor some place it is written it's a it's a irreversible inhibitor so just look at that i think allopurinol is a irreversible inhibitor and the allozanthine that is the metabolite of the allopurinol is a suicide inhibitor enzyme kin kinematics see you have to learn about the km bmax the, there is a, there is a graph of km and bmax you have to learn them just look it in the book competitive non competitive and uncompetitive the differences between these in terms of bmax and km see i learned it like this for example there is a chart you make you put km then bmax and here you put competitive non competitive and uncompetitive you put it like this so for competitive two people are competing so they have to run longer so km will be increased and bmax will be normal normal or constant the non competitive they are not competing with each other but so so they will run only a definite distance so km is constant and bmax is decreased uncompetitive they are not competing so both km and bmax is decreased i learned it like this you can also remember it like that for irreversible km is constant and bmax is decreased then yeah some enzymes you have to learn about ldh there are five types of ldh you have to learn them and where they occur creatine kinase creatine kinase you have to learn enzyme assay in myocardial infarction there is a sticky note i made i'll put it up in the video you have to learn at what time in what are what enzyme occurs after a myocardial infarction what occurs the fastest what occurs the late and which disappears the fastest you have to learn it like that yeah and these are all the topics that are important for biochemistry and these will do the trick see some important points for biochemistry just remember this it's a volatile subject and a tough one too you cannot learn it like uh, you 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 will have to mug it up it's a mugging up subject i think if you will try to understand it it will, it will take a lot of time so in the first we try to just mug it up or learn it up don't try to master it just try to complete it that you have touched all the points once when you do the revision once twice and thrice you will ultimately know that you have to answer this here this there and you will know where are the questions coming from and you will know the answer to them so learn it like that see biochemistry comes for only 2 to 3 mcqs so learn it like that you don't have to waste so much time see the risk to reward ratio is so less if you want you can give it up but don't give it up even one or two questions makes a difference so learn it properly you have to do revision every 2 months yeah, and i think that is uh, optimum focus on the disease more and the charts yeah and that's all for the video if you have not subscribed do subscribe to the channel it motivates me to make better videos and thank you for watching